Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Today I want to talk to you about feeling lost. Now, there's been many times in which I felt lost in my life and how I didn't know where my life was gonna go next and what was gonna happen. And I think in some ways we're all in a bit of a feeling lost period right now, but that's a kind of a different kind of feeling. That's more of a, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, but we're all feeling that way. But I wanna talk to you about feeling lost in general, not, find, not feeling like you can find your way and um, what you wanna do with your life, your life purpose, and how you feel about yourself. Now, with my journey, I've gone through these, it's been like this, and I mean, it's like this for everyone. We have these waves of emotions, we have these waves of inspiration, we have these waves of knowing what we want and what we, and then feeling like we have no idea what we want and who we are. But I've got to a point now, I feel like it's since I turned 30 that I was starting to realize exactly what I want, who I am, and I've got to the point now where I, I can say, I love me, like I love who I am. And I think that's a great thing to be able to do. Um, the camera's a bit of a funny angle. It's been like I've got a really big forehead. <laughs> um, hang on, let me come a bit closer. Let me come closer, let's get intimate. Um, so yeah, so with that, feeling lost is such a horrible feeling. And when you feel this real urge in your soul that you have something to do, that there's a bigger picture, that there's more to this than just feeling like, what am I supposed to be doing with my life? I really think in that time, it's really good to go on a bit of a self-discovery. And what I mean by that is like diving into things like meditation and journaling and um, practicing gratitude and um, just getting out in nature when you can, exercising, moving, just like really aligning and actually in this time learning as well, like reading and discovering, just kind of kind of going down a bit of a spiritual path, but it doesn't mean your, um, your um, outcome will be spiritual like mine has become, but it may be that it might make you realize what you want well i know in fact it will and sometimes being lost is actually really powerful because it makes us come out of our comfort zone and feel the fear and when we feel the fear and then we feel like we've got nothing to lose because we feel lost we may actually find what we really want in life and what we want to do and who we want to be and what we want to achieve so when you, if you're feeling lost right now and you're thinking what am i supposed to be do, to, do with my time i don't know what i'm what my purpose is I don't know why I'm like what career choices I want to make. I don't know what like relationships I want to be in. When you're in that time, it's it's kind of like you've wiped and slate clean, and you can begin again and start again, and start to understand what makes you happy. And in that time, just do things that make you happy. We don't have to have all the answers right away. And you know, some people say that it takes ages to discover something. It doesn't, it takes a moment, but it takes maybe time to get to that moment. But it only takes a moment in which we make a decision. And it takes a moment in which we have a, ah, I've got an idea. And when you have an idea, write it down and go with it. If you feel something from your soul, that is what you should be doing. And I think sometimes we hold ourselves back because we think, oh, I'm not good enough to do that. I haven't got enough knowledge to do that. We have all the resources in the world to be whoever we want to be. There's no excuses. The only person who gets in our way is ourselves, our ego. And that is when we're clouding our higher self, we're ignoring our higher self, we're ignoring our soul's alignment and we're ignoring, we're so out of alignment that we're ignoring it and that's why we feel lost. When we feel lost, we're out of alignment. So to get back into alignment, it's doing like the inner work, the shadow work the meditations, the understanding what makes you tick, writing down things that make you sad, understanding why they make you sad. And there's always a deeper me meaning to why things make you feel a certain way. Like there is, there's always something else deeper. Just dig deep. You don't have to go to all the seminars. You don't have to do all the things. There's so much resources online, but I just want you to know that you're not alone, that everyone has felt lost at some point because that's part of the journey. And that's, kind of there in order to push you onto a different journey Be well not a different journey but push you onto the correct path because sometimes we can maybe be on a path which is comfortable and okay and it's like mm, it's not great it's just okay it's comfortable but it's not really what you want but you don't really know that and then you become a bit lost and the reason you become a bit lost is because it's not aligning with your soul and it's not what you're supposed to be doing so you become lost to in order 
You become lost in order to find yourself. And when you find yourself, you start realizing, why did I not see this all along? It was right in front of my face. Like, this is in front of my face. I know exactly what I need. I know exactly who I want to be. I know exactly what I want. And then you start doing all the inner work and then you start to think, I really like who I am. I love who I am. I mean, I can share my story in another video if you like, let me know, of how I decided like, I love me now. Like, I like who I am. But I think I might have spoke a bit about that in my authenticity video. But anyway, when you do that inner work, you start to realize your worth and that you are equal energy to everyone else, but your energy attracts what you get into your life. So you have to be on the same vibration to receive the good that you want in your life. Um, but know that when you go off the tracks, that you can always get back on, but a different one, a better one. We stay in the good sometimes, but it's not always the best for us. The best is better than the good. And when you discover that, you'll be like, well, I'm glad that I went through that journey because now I know exactly what makes me happy. I know what I want. And really, it's a great opportunity to just really start to have a conversation with yourself and really connect with yourself because we are so go, 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 go all the time. Apart from right now, I think it's like a massive wake up call for everyone to not be go, go, go all the time. Because when we're go, 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 we forget about ourselves and we don't necessarily connect with our true self. We just are just doing, we're not being and we're not being present. So when you're being present, that is when more comes to you and when more kind of you get more inspired and you start to understand what you want out of life and i just really want you to know that if you have you have an idea but you think that you're not good enough or you're not worthy or you can't afford it or you haven't got the time there's all the resources out there i've said it already but there is you can do whatever you want it's your life you can live it as full as you want and if you don't know what you want right now just go on this journey of self-discovery it's how you discover what you want. Just don't panic, just relax. Know it's okay to have this, this downtime. And right now is probably a really good time to have this downtime. But you know that it's all part of your soul's journey and this needs to happen. Feeling lost isn't a nice feeling, and especially when you really feel like you have something to give but you don't know how. And when you rediscover that, it's blissful and you just wanna help others to understand that. So I hope that helps you in some small way know that you can achieve great things know that this is just a blip in time if you're feeling lost and i want to send you so much love whatever you're going through send you so much love leave me some comments below let me know if there's any topics that you would like me to talk about and remember i do one-on-one -on -one coaching so you can message me and we can connect and um, yeah i hope you have a great day and i will speak to you next time